basically, um, before I was involved with my faith and involved in doing Catholic hip hop, I was involved in a gangster lifestyle, chasing money, chasing drugs, chasing women. Uh, we're in the streets doing things we shouldn't be doing. Uh, definitely not chasing God, definitely not chasing God's will. And uh, I started doing gangster hip hop, gangster rap music for about 10 years. Um, I, was, I had the opportunity to work with artists like both us and Harmony and Cypress Hill and you know, major acts like Ludacris and Fat Joe and Three Six Mafia and people like that. But it would left me with an empty feeling, completely empty feeling because at the end of the night, at the end of the day, I had nothing to show for it. You know, I, I wasn't making money out of it. Um, I, my, my marriage was falling apart. You know, I never saw my, my children. It just wasn't a good thing. And uh, that's where God found me. He found me where I was at. And he, and he pulled me out of it. He pulled me from the trenches. One thing that I know for sure led me to my faith, at least partially, was the constant intercession of my mother. Uh, I lost my mother, unfortunately, in 2002 to cancer. Um, but I'm positive that she's in heaven praying for me, you know, giving her constant intercession on my behalf. Another part of it was just an empty feeling, you know, chasing those empty dreams. And uh, I, was just, I was just fed up with myself. I couldn't, I couldn't live with myself any longer. I couldn't look at, my, at myself in the mirror and be happy with the way I was living or even call myself a, a real man. The, the tip of the iceberg was I was invited out to do an event at an at a, uh, all-ages teenage event. Uh, with about 1,500 youth. And when I got there, the, the youth were between the ages of 9 to 16. And I couldn't believe that they had booked a gangster rapper to come perform for a bunch of children, basically. For a bunch of children, I felt like I should have been telling them to go to school and read their Bibles and hug their parents and you know, pull up their pants, whatever it was, right? But I'm sitting there talking about shoot them up and drink this and smoke that and chase this woman, you know, and... Uh, I felt ashamed, I felt convicted, and that the Holy Spirit, like I said, just pierced my heart completely. I broke down crying, and uh, from that, that night, I never looked back. I decided I was gonna change my life for good. So, um, El Padre Cito Ministries has been a very big blessing in my life. Um, I came across Father Marcel on the internet. I was just Googling Catholic rap, looking for other people that were doing what I did, had the same vision, the same dreams. And it's just given us a, a platform, I guess you could say, to do the art that we do, and to do the ministry that we do, and to do it at a bigger level, uh, to make it more available to more youth, to be able to reach more souls, to be able to, be able to win more souls for Christ. Um, and um, it's just been amazing. We haven't even got knee deep into this yet. And we're able to do what we're doing right now, thanks to donors, thanks to you know, Positive the Ministries, and uh, I can imagine that you know, with the support of, of the people who, who financially back Positive Ministries, with the support of the youth, with the support of the diocese throughout the nation, throughout the world, um, we can only just take this bigger. It can only get bigger and bigger and bigger, you know. And uh, in Christ, it can never get big enough. You feel me? And when it comes to the salvation of souls and the re-evangelization of the youth, it can never get big enough. Mm -hmm.